Okay, so I'm on my way to hot yoga in Grand Bend, and I am on the verge of falling asleep, and so I thought it'd be a good idea to talk to myself in the form of a video blog, because that should hopefully keep me awake. This is a long, boring ride. I drive 45 minutes to go to a hot yoga class because there is no hot yoga close to me, and Usually it's a nice drive, but today I'm just I'm bored, and I'm also detoxing, so I think that's also why I'm nodding off at the wheel, because this is day two of no caffeine, and I pretty much run on coffee, so I'm kind of starting to feel it, um, and I'm told that day three and four are even more... Uh, intense, so I guess I just better stick it out, tough it out. I'm doing it for two weeks, um, and I haven't done a detox now since I started this whole new clean eating kind of um, lifestyle in 2009, um, when I started learning how to properly fuel my body and started seeing a nutritionist. And she had me do a detox to, um, you know, at the time I was in university, so detox out good things like alcohol and street meat. Um, and I remember it being pretty, pretty intense. So uh, it takes a lot of physical and mental stamina, and uh, and I only do it because I feel very rejuvenated and just I'm not really sure I can fully explain what it feels like after you finish a detox you really just need to try it for yourself um, I don't do anything crazy I don't do that like maple syrup mixed with hot sauce crap I don't know how anyone could do that um, the only things that I take out of my diet when I detox are uh, dairy wheat um, caffeine sugar and that's about it oh and peanuts which is awful peanut butter is basically my life so I'm allowed eggs I'm allowed egg whites I do chicken I do turkey I can't have beef but that's fine um, for two weeks I can go without red meat all the fruits and veggies that you want and the best part about it is you just eat what you're craving. So there's no tracking macros, which I tend to do when I'm not detoxing. There is no um, tracking calories or nutrients or, I mean, it's you're getting great nutrients because it's a detox, but there's no tracking of anything. You just go by what you want to eat. So it's kind of, I guess, intuitive eating. Um, so, yeah, you, and you got beans are fine, like chickpeas, black beans, that kind of thing. Um, anyways, so, I just went on a rant about detoxing, but anyways, if you're interested in, in learning more, you can certainly contact me. I can let you know what kind of detox that I follow, and um, yeah, so that's about it. Anyways, I'm off to yoga. I have completely changed the way that I train as of lately. Um, I used to be a five to six day a week, heavy lifting, mass building kind of girl. And uh, the long and the short of it is, it's, it's really taken a toll on my, my body physically. I'm starting to have a lot of injuries mentally. Um, just was looking for a bit of a shake-up in my training and hormonally I, I'm just I'm a wreck hormonally um, weightlifting causes you to um, push out a lot of cortisol stress hormone so um, it has a huge effect on your adrenals and, um, and my adrenals are just or just shot. Um, I was, you know, you you can tell when your adrenals are starting to 
to get fatigued because you're you're finding that to get through any given day you're relying on coffee and I was up to four cups maybe five even a day just to get through my day and not you know fall asleep at my desk um, I wasn't I wasn't thinking straight um, I would have a thought come into my head and then the next second it'd just be completely gone um, my, my concentration was just completely completely off and it's still on the mend my hair was my hair used to be so long it was breaking off my nails were breaking off and brittle very dry skin dry hair dry nails um, what else was I having I started breaking out um, just I guess you know your adrenals are just they're your stress your stress organ and they were crying out that you know they're, they're stressed out um, so to kind of remedy that I've really taken my training back a lot um, try to just kick my feet up and relax as much as I can um, so I'm weightlifting really light weights about two days a week and I do in my first week I do one upper body one lower body day I'm really lower body dominant um, so then my second week I do two upper body days and uh, and on my other days I'm just doing yoga or going for like going for a long walk outside um, and just really letting my body rest and recover and heal because um, it's really been it's really taken a beating over the last you know four years of my training now I don't generally like to take breaks um, when I'm injured I figure out ways that I can train around my injury um, I, I mean trainings it's a natural endorphin rush it gives you such a feel-good um, feeling when you're done that I mean it can get addictive and, and I think I was I was definitely starting to see um, addictive tendencies in myself and then I kind of pushed them to the side and then when family and friends started to say things to me about what they were noticing then I, I really couldn't turn a blind eye to it um, so I made you know I made the decision to step away from the weight room for a little while um, for my health and just focus on me um, getting healthy in, inside and out um, so that's kind of an update on my training that's why I've been pretty quiet on my social media lately um, because it's been really difficult for me to come to this realization and, and take time off um, so yeah, it's a tough pill to swallow and there's definitely days I want to give in and go lift and get in a crazy hard workout and then I have to really step back and remind myself that my body needs time to recover and, and it's just not the right time right now to get back into training. Um, there will be another time and another place for it and that's great, but um, yeah, right now I'm just trying to stay positive, enjoy some yoga, enjoy some walks and enjoy some food. So with that, I'm going to close this off and head in for some yoga. Bye guys.